Good morning, everyone. This is Lucrezia, your local guide in Venice. And today I'm in the south of the city, in Dorsoduro district, to tell you about the cursed palace of Venice. It's to say Cadario, the building that you can see right here behind me. Venetians call this building the Cursed Palace because, according to its legend, all its owners are doomed to die a violent death or to lose everything they had. The name of the building is Ca Dario, where Ca stands for Casa, House, and Dario was the name of the man who commissioned the construction of the building, Giovanni Dario. Giovanni Dario was a secretary of the Senate of the Republic of Venice, who had worked for several years in the Orient for the Republic, and who managed to, to close a very advantageous agreement for the control of some international trading routes with Constantinople after the Ottoman Turks had already conquered the city. As a symbol of gratefulness for the good job he had done, the Venetian Republic donated him a lot of money and some lands in the city. So when he came back home, he began the construction of the building that is overlooking the Grand Canal on the other side. The construction began in 1478 and it was commissioned to, to one of the most famous local artists of the time, Pietro Lombardo. After Giovanni Dario passed away, his daughter Marietta and her husband moved here, but after living here for a few years, Vincenzo Barbaro, Marietta's husband, lost everything he had and he was backstabbed to death in the Orient where he was working for the Republic. A few months later, their son, Vincenzo Barbaro Jr., was killed in Cyprus, where he was working for the Republic as well. And as you can imagine, Marietta was uh, so upset that just a few months later, she committed the suicide in the building. So a whole family died in a very short time period, and this is why Venetians began to think that probably Cadario was actually a cursed palace, even because they knew that it had been built on the old site of an old Templar cemetery. After this episode, the building was uh, sold several times over the years. Among the owners, there was uh, also a very rich diamond merchant from Armenia who lived here for a few years only, but then he suddenly lost everything he had and he died poor right after. Among the famous owners of Cadario, there's the Italian opera singer Mario del Monaco, for example, who was actually planning to buy the building, but had a terrible car accident on his way to Venice while he was coming in town to sign the contract to buy the property. Luckily, he survived, but he withdrew immediately the proposal he had done to buy the building. Another famous owner of the building was Christopher Keith Lambert, the manager of the rock band The Who who lived here for a few years only and then was found dead in mysterious circumstances. These are actually just a few of the many episodes that took place in this building and this is why when in 2000 Woody Allen was considering to buy a property in Dorsoduro and he was considering Cadario of course because it's still one of the most beautiful buildings we have in the area. After reading about these weird stories he wisely decided to change his mind. If you want to know more about the creepy inscription that you can find on the facade of the building and that keeps every Venetian away from this area, and if you would like to discover more about this area of the city, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell notification icon so you will not miss any new video. And if perhaps you're visiting Venice and you would like to do a tour with me, make sure to visit www.secretvenicetour.com to see the tours that I offer. Ciao!